And we'll get back. We will start out with a winter landscape of north and Eagle Nest. You can see all the snow they saw easily, foot and a half in some locations. Philip sending this in. If you got a picture, we'd love to see it. Picks at krqe.com is the address. So it's all about the winds, though, right now as we're in the wake of the storm system. So east of the Central Mountains down into Chavez County, we still have a few minutes left on that wind advisory, but there are indications those winds are starting to relax a little bit, which is great news. And, of course, we have seen the strongest winds east of the Central Mountains. Right now, sustaining anywhere from 20, even up to near 30 miles per hour. We are seeing gusts around 35 out there. The west, though, fairly quiet. Temperatures right now to the north, some 20s and 30s. 36 in Albuquerque, 28 in Ruidoso, and wind chill factored in. Feels like 26 in Albuquerque, 23 Santa Fe, with some 40s back off towards the east, and you've got some teens and 20s off into the four corners. So here's what's going on. We've got that storm system that we're in the wake of, but we are drawing in some pretty cold air from the north. So what's going to happen here, essentially, is we'll end up with a very cold night tonight, especially with the clear skies we are anticipating to have across the state. So quiet weather is on the way. It's going to be a little bit chilly in the overnight hours. The daytime heat, though, will get a little bit of that mercury rising uh, compared to past days due to this quick ridge of high pressure. So sunny and cool over the next couple of days. Tuesday looks like it'll be kind of the same deal, but we'll start to increase the clouds as we bring in that next storm system that's expected to arrive as early as Wednesday. And this one looks like it's going to to really affect the western mountains of New Mexico and back off into Arizona as well. So uh, we'll keep a close watch on that. We still have a couple of days to iron the details out for you, but it looks like Wednesday into Thursday will be the key days. Now taking you region by region, it's going to be a chilly night up here in the north with the clear skies five below in Durango. We'll see nine in Farmington, and it looks like we'll end up with some pretty chilly nights over the next couple of evenings in both areas. Good chance for some showers though Wednesday into Thursday. We're calling for snow showers across the area, including down here in the southwest. But again, it's going to be a quiet next couple of days as the temperatures rebound a bit, but overnight lows will generally be quite chilly, even back off here in the southeast. Overnight tonight, we'll see clear skies, temperatures drop in the teens and 20s, highs tomorrow in the 50s to near 60 degrees. And here's your seven-day forecast, Roswell, which does include a couple of very nice days, lots of sunshine expected with highs in the 50s to near 60 degrees. But we drop pretty significantly Thursday due to a cold front that's going to be sliding on in. That will enhance our chances for showers as well. Meanwhile, up towards the northeast, a cold night tonight. We won't see really anything in the way of below zero temperatures. That's going to be reserved for the northern mountains where we're going to see four below Alamosa, two below Pagosa Springs. Chama will be below zero tonight and very cold in Santa Fe at 13 degrees. Of course, uh, we will see highs in the afternoon rebound in the mid-40s by Tuesday. But then again, we're going to see some showers increasing Wednesday and Thursday with the next storm system. East Mountains tonight, teens. Highs tomorrow, the 40s across the board. It should be a fairly nice day with plenty of sunshine. And Tuesday actually looks a little bit warmer for us area-wide. Now, metro area overnight, 20s and teens. Highs tomorrow in the 40s. Here's a seven-day forecast. Uh, 40s tomorrow, but we'll see 50s by Tuesday here in Albuquerque. And then we'll start to see those numbers drop off a bit with this next storm system and a chance for snow. Cooler temperatures 43 by Thursday. Okay. Thank you, Travis.